The research into the historical past is a tricky path, but one that leads us to the discoveries of the things that were lost to us as a civilization. We must share these discoveries in an effort to aid the piecing together of the past and in doing so, we can uncover the things that we have forgotten about. We consider our time to exist around about the most significant event to have happened. To us, this was the birth of Jesus Christ, the last true God to have walked the earth with us. This is the new era that was spawned for us. Jesus gave us the changes needed to adapt our intelligence as we attempt to prosper as a people. He told us to love and understand one another, and it just feels like we have lost our way. And even from these relatively short histories, we are still trying to piece this time together, not because we have forgotten what happened during the time of Christ, but because we are a suspicious civilization also a forgetful civilization, and only in the physical form can the truths of the past be reinforced for the understanding of all. A recent uncovering of a stunning mosaic of Jesus feeding of the 5,000, for example, has only recently been unearthed from this era, reinforcing the event from a mental image and into a physical vision that was explored by the artist of the day, giving a stunning insight into how Jesus was perceived during his life. Archaeologists have spent the summer at the site of the burnt church in Hippos. It was destroyed by fire in around the 8th century, and the artifacts were thought lost in the fire. However, this floor mosaic was uniquely preserved in the debris in the aftermath of the fire, and the artwork was locked in time for almost 1400 years in the heart of the Holy Land overlooking the Sea of Galilee. The mosaic purports to capture one of the miracles referred to in the New Testament, where Jesus used five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people gathered on the banks of the water. The interpretation of these events have in recent years triggered a whole host of alternative theories, including that Jesus was actually issuing space food to the people. The idea first attracted attention when ancient astronaut theorists compared the feeding of the 5,000 in quantity to rations issued to both astronauts in space, but also armies on the ground, suggesting that Jesus had his own supply as a traveler to the earth. But remember guys, these are alternative ideas, fun to entertain, but no serious notion on the matter. A team from the University of Haifa found the burnt church in 2005 but only began this dig this summer. Head archeologist, Dr. Michael Eisenberg said, there can certainly be different explanations to the descriptions of loaves and the fish in the mosaic, but you cannot ignore the similarity to the descriptions in the New Testament. For example, from the fact that the New Testament has a description of five loaves in a basket or the two fish depicted in the apse as we find in the mosaic. He added that the generally accepted location of the miracle performed by Christ may have to be reconsidered in light of the new evidence. The historian said, Nowadays we tend to regard the church of the multiplication on the northwest of the Sea of Galilee as the location of the miracle. But with careful reading of the New Testament, it is evident that it might have taken place north of Hippos within the city's region. According to scripture, after the miracle, Jesus crossed the water to the northwest of the Sea of Galilee, so that the miracle had to take place at the place where he began the crossing rather than at the place he finished it. In addition, the mosaic at the burnt church has a depiction of 12 baskets, and the New Testament also describes the disciples who, at the end of the miracle, were left with 12 baskets of bread and fish. There is no doubt that the local community was well familiar with the two miracles of feeding the multitude and perhaps knew their estimated location better than us. After centuries of falling into the hands of several empires and religious groups, Hippos was abandoned in around the year 600 when a natural disaster, thought to be an earthquake, devastated the hilltop city. What do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.